everybody to the HSAA Playoff Reveal Show. We are live here in Montgomery on the campus of AUM, and I'm so happy to be joined right now with Jack Williams from Alabama Public Television. There was a big announcement last week, uh, and APT will actually be broadcasting the Super 7 games for the first time in history. Welcome, Jack, to the show. Thanks, Susan. It's an honor to be here. We're Absolutely. very excited to be partnering with the High School Athletic Association on this venture. Well, and what's really exciting about this is this is going to make it very easy for people all over the state to tune in to the Super 7 games. That's right. Our over the air, with, if you have no cable, no satellite, just a TV antenna, we cover 97% of the state. We're really excited about taking this statewide for the very first time. And uh, we think it's going to be a tremendous opportunity to highlight uh, smaller communities that uh, don't get the attention that uh, some of the larger schools and larger municipalities get. We're very excited. Well, and you know, the Super 7 um, state championship games will take place in Jordan Hare Stadium, but not everybody can travel that far. Yeah. Some of these schools are very far away, so I think it's wonderful that we're making it so accessible to everyone around the state. You know, we're opening doors for uh, grandparents, not just grandparents of athletes, uh, grandparents of band members, right. uh, uh, aunts and uncles that live in the four corners of the state. Uh, you're right, you know, we rotate between Auburn, Tuscaloosa, and Birmingham, but it's a long drive. Wherever it is, it's a long drive for somebody somewhere and we're creating new opportunities for folks and and highlighting uh, this is what APT is about we're highlighting the uh, areas that don't always get the attention that is over we're so excited that is wonderful it seems like a great partnership um, I, I've been told that other states do this model is that correct that's correct uh, Last year, I went over and watched the Georgia games. Uh, they do a three-day event also. I spent a day on the field, a day in the truck, and a day in the studio just seeing how they do things. I've spoken to my uh, counterpart in uh, Arkansas, Louisiana, and Nebraska also do this. And we're just tremendously excited to be partnering, not just with uh, the High School Athletic Association, but with uh, other underwriters who are, who are up and underwrite this, the Secretary of State's office, Al Dot, DHR, uh, Google, uh, and we're very, very, uh, Children's Hospital, and we're very, tr just tremendously excited about these partners and some others that, that will be announced and will be joining us in the next month. Well, that just sounds like it's a win-win for everybody across the state, and really that's what high school athletics are about in Alabama. So we thank you for this new partnership. We're excited about it, and we will see you in several weeks. Susan, looking forward to seeing you in Jordan Hare on November 30th. Absolutely. Thank you. All right. And we'll be right back right after this on the HSAA Playoff Reveal Show. Introduce Jack Williams. Jack Williams is with the Alabama Public Television Network. And uh, we had a recent announcement. The Super 7 football games will be live on the Alabama Public Television Network, which means that it will be all across the state of Alabama thanks to their 97 transmitters, I do believe. But anyway, uh, Mr. Williams. Nine transmitters, 27 microwave dishes, but, but uh, guys, I'm so excited to be here. Uh, my dad was a high school principal, uh, was my pr uh, principal for 10 out of 12 years uh, that I was in school. So I, I remember when Bubba Scott was running things and I was a little kid. And we're so excited to be a part of this because uh, personally and, and as a network, we understand the importance of uh, high school football. I know uh, I was as athletic in high school as I look today, but uh, coaches, even when my dad wasn't principal, took an interest in me. And uh, we're, uh, we want to make sure the message of what you guys do penetrates the state of Alabama. And we, this will be the first time these games are broadcast statewide ever so if you live uh, uh, they've been been available for streaming but it, a lot of our state doesn't have broadband access we're very very excited to be a part of this like I said I know the importance of this I have a nephew who's 31 who's the manager of he has some intellectual disabilities and he's the manager of his high school team at uh, at Jasper and I think you guys are here, and I appreciate what you do for my nephew, Stefan. It makes a big difference in his, gives, it enhances the quality of his life. And you guys do that, not just at Jasper, but you do that in 400 
16 other communities, and it's greatly appreciated, and we're excited for the opportunity to highlight this. So grandparents and uh, your athletes and grandparents of band members or aunts and uncles that can't make the trip to Auburn or in future years won't be going to Tuscaloosa or Birmingham because it's a, wherever we are, it's a long drive from somewhere. And folks are gonna have an opportunity to witness what you guys have accomplished uh, in ways that they've never been able to before. And uh, Alvin, we're very excited about partnering with you and Ron and the rest of your team. And uh, thank you guys for what you've done. Congratulations, coach, congratulations. You joined my coach from my community, Buddy Anderson. You're in high cotton. So Buddy was a great coach in Vestavia. Thank you guys so much for uh, allowing us to be a part of it. And congratulations on, on great seasons. When I, was, when I was in, it was four classifications and eight teams in each classification. And I was around some two and three lost teams that never sniffed the playoffs. So congratulations, enjoy the ride, and look forward to seeing you guys in Auburn. Thanks, Ron. Thank you, Jack.